Matter of fact, though, pterodactyl, when I'm micro and macro, my mind. Why would I try to hide the fact that I'm Jack to be actually naturally high? And I'm that guy with the flashlight, looking back at the track of the black light. How about this simple tap? Pay attention to wax, you're free to see what that's like. And that's why we need to take things slow, slow. And that's why we need. All right, guys, Ian and Ben from Central Coast Disc Golf, and we're back with a 2015 uh, Central Coast Team Challenge, Ben. That's right. Uh, this is a challenge presented to us by Ronnie, who you see speaking here, and the other captain you see on the left is Marty Hapner. Marty's the captain of De La Viega, and Ronnie's the captain of Monterey. And this is uh, the biggest team challenge in history, 41 players per team, 82 total, eclipsing the previous mark set by uh, La Mirada and Oak Grove. Wow. And we're calling it the... Stork Cup, named after Dan Roddick, PDGA number 003. Cool. And you can see the trophy there. Eric Price, uh, Monterey's number three seed with his eyes on the prize. <laughs> That's a nice looking trophy, don't blame him. Yeah. There's Man. Leif Swenson you may have seen in the Jelly Jam video. Oh, yeah. And speaking of the Jelly Jam, we're back out at Ryan's Ranch. That's right. In Monterey, this is a lovely course. It sure is. really like it a lot. When it's, when it's trimmed and then the grass is short. <laughs> yeah, uh, when it, it's a really a uh, big ordeal to maintain. Yeah, it is. There's Daisy Chains on the scene, uh, yeah. along with Prodigy Disc and Innova. Nice. Prodigy sponsors the Monterey team, and Innova sponsors Santa Cruz. That's the Monterey president, Ray Ramirez, giving us a shout-out. Nice. This is the lefty practice basket. You see Ronnie <laughs> Brad and uh, Jeff Doobie of Santa Cruz fame uh -huh. all practicing. And that's Danny Kerfeld, winner of the Jelly Jam. Spoiler yeah, alert. Yep. They, they should have. They should have watched that by now. Anyway, they should have watched that by now. Yeah. There's Nick Buffet. We'll be seeing in just a minute in competition. This is his number two seed for Monterey. Bang! And, some uh, solid putts right there. It's some putts, and this is Skyler. He'll, he'll be facing off against from Santa Cruz. Mm -hmm. Skyler had a hundred dollar bet on the line with Sean Adams, who mm -hmm. runs uh, Monterey Signs as well as Santa Cruz Signs. Yeah. What was mm -hmm. the bet? Hundred dollars. Just uh, winner team. Which team wins? Monterey, ah, okay. Santa Cruz. Nice man. And those are the number one seeds. Adam Chibalewski and Tim Messer. Nice. We've uh, filmed Tim before. Out at yes. Daylaw. Uh, Masters Cup. Yeah, super nice guy. Oh yeah. So we're starting off on hole one, three ninety six. Uh, it's pretty dead straight. There is some brush kind of surrounding the basket, but uh, yeah, I believe this is the only flight path picture that's a little incorrect. It's actually about eighty feet further than the picture showed. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt. Yeah, don't worry. Yeah, it's kind of tucked in behind that berm. And it looks like a Adam on the box. That's right. Playing a hyzer. Mm -hmm. Didn't get quite enough uh, flip up on that one. Yeah, he's going to be short, but safe. There's a lot of bushes you can get stuck behind on this hole. Mm -hmm. And Tim Messer throwing an $80 bill, aka a first run star destroyer. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah. This I did not know, but I believe it. Yeah, those things are worth some cash, man. It looks like that one flipped a little too much for him. Got a broom sponsored by Signworks. Nice, man. A.K.A. Sean Adams. <laughs> awesome. And uh, Nick, what was he Nick, throwing here? Nick's going to be throwing a DGA Pro Line Hurricane. Oh, excellent choice. Nick is uh, an employee of DGA, and you'll be seeing him throw uh, exclusively DGA discs. Nice. It looks like he hanged that one out a little far right. Yeah, he really went for the big hyzer there. Yeah, he um, did. Which, you know, keeps you from flipping over into a pretty bad territory on the right. Yeah, but if you hang it out, you're you're in that. <laughs> exactly. <yeah. laughs> and it, it's a not a friendly putting green off to the right of the basket here. No. It's a very small green. Huh? You said this is Skyler? This is Skyler. Skyler's going with a big flex shot with the star boss, and he might be pin high. Oh, wow. He crushed that one. Yeah, that's a huge drive, about 400 feet. Yeah. Use a little bit of a right-to-left win on this one, if anything. Yeah, yeah. Coming from the coast, there's Mark Howard, uh, the guy behind the T signs in the maps that you'll see in this video. Oh, no. oh that guy. Cool, man. Yeah. That's Mark. I've been using his, his signs for a while. Thanks, Mark. Really appreciate it. Mark's a really, really yeah. great guy. Nice. So that was Nick. Uh, photographer at Pebble Beach, too. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, ah, cool. It's Adam laying up. And Tim. Oh, my apologies to Tim. We had a discussion. Uh, he believes his challenges are called full color challengers, and uh -huh. I think they're called super color. I meant to change it back for Tim, but well, I believe they're all going to say uh, super color. <laughs> that, that'll play though. 
Uh, nice putt from uh, Skyler. Taking Very out. nice. Birdie Skyler takes the point. Yeah. For those of you unfamiliar with match play, uh, some of you may know uh, skins. And it's yeah. a little different from skins in that holes don't carry over. Right. Uh, each hole can only be worth one point mm -hmm. or zero. Yep. And there's you can concede a hole if your partner is close. It's really kind of informal. It's kind of cool. I, right. I like it a lot. It's really, really fun to film. Yeah, in fact... Uh, Tim and Nick have a discussion about holing out right after this that yeah. we'll probably be talking over. But, you know, Nick had some question beforehand, uh, you know, are we allowed to putt out? And I think for him, it's kind of like, I don't know if I'm wrong about this, maybe a psychological thing. Yeah. You're sort of used to getting your putt in and, you know, it kind of, you want to stay in that routine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it could also you know, you rob him of practice putting, you know. That's right. Yeah. So it could be a strategic move. Mm-hmm. So uh, Skyler getting the lone so, point on hole one, and we're on hole two, two fifty-two. As oh, this one's the uh, tucked in the trees on the right, Ben. Yeah, a uh, very popular forehand hole. Uh, yeah. We actually missed the very start of Adam's drive here. I missed it. Mm -hmm. uh, and he's throwing a Z buzz. I think it was a um, a turnover shot with a backhand. But you'll see Tim throw forehand with a whip. It comes up a little short. Ooh, that's a tough putt from there. But you'll see Skyler's also going to hop for the CE whip it. Guess this must be a forehand whippet hole. Wow, I think this is the first time I've ever seen a whippet thrown twice on a hole. <laughs> <laughs> Same <laughs> you know, here. They don't seem too often. And wow, I sort of go banshee or firebird. Yeah, a whippet is a really overstable disc, and he actually got a little bit of flip on that one. Yeah, you can see. Yeah, Skyler really flexed his out there, and mm -hmm. Tim, or uh, sorry, Nick with the tsunami just flipped it over, and wow. he's going to be kind of in the rough over there. Yeah, should be able to get up and down from there at least. Right, is kind of running right at the cliff if he goes too long, but. I'm sure he's taking that into consideration. Mm -hmm. Throw an SP breaker. No, oh, excellent choice for upshots. Oh yeah, a little bit left, but yeah. not so bad. Mm -hmm. And uh, Tim probably just laying up from here. He might have a run, but it's gonna be awkward. That low ceiling. Yeah. I yeah. Guess. If he was to end up in some trouble, Adam could just pitch up from ten feet and take a point. Exactly. And Skyler for. Uh, putting the pressure on I guess, about circle's oh, this, edge oh yeah this is for a point isn't it it was for a point right there yeah yeah, yeah missed it and uh, adam for a point oh nice putt yeah so he's nice just gonna putt. take that point from tim mm -hmm. so adam's up one and uh skyler's up one right now skyler's up one and now he's oh. up two what nick got robbed by his own basket wow man DGA baskets uh -huh. all around Ryan Ranch, but yeah. they are not the mock X's. Um, oh, they're not, aren't they? No, they're... Oh, jeez. Someone's... Uh, mock threes or fives. Yeah, I, I always think, mix them up. I think they're threes, but yeah, I, I, I could be wrong as well. Break me over the coals. Yep. <laughs> so Adam's up two, Skyler's up two... Or sorry, Adam's up one, Skyler's up two. On the hole three, 355. Really downhill hole. One of my favorites out here at Ryan Ranch. Very pretty hole. Memorable. Yeah. I see a lot of big backhand hyzers out over the trees or mid ranges up the middle, and the occasional forehand if you swing that way. Uh, <laughs> yeah, as I do. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I really don't like the middle shot. It's just too easy to go long or hit something early, which would result in an easy bogey or double bogey or worse. Oh yeah, I'm with you on that, Ben. If you can get the hyzer out there, I think that's the preferred play. Very wow. nice. Adam almost holds it. Sure did. Just a couple feet long. Just a little deep, but it's what gonna are... put him behind that bush. Mm-hmm. And uh, Tim looking to match that. Tim going with a rock three. It's a little slower than you see most people do. Yeah. Uh, but he's putting it out there. A little high, it looks like, Ben. A little bit high. It's going to fade too much. Yeah, that's going to... Probably a little bit short left, I'd imagine. But he's on the green, and that's the important thing. It's a huge green, if you even want to call it that. Yeah, it really is. The main trick is just at least get on the green. Yeah, especially off to the right. Really yeah. open over there. True. And Skyler going with an even slower disc, a zone. How is he really? Yeah. Wow. Most people would say is a putter approach. Yeah. A very overstable one and a good choice. Huh? Yeah, just also a little bit short left. Yep. Um, should have a putt. And uh, Nick. Nick's going to be throwing a DGA disc. It's no surprise. Fairway here? <laughs> uh, I think it might be a tsunami, the same one he threw on the last hole, but going okay. back this time. So the tsunami is like kind of their overstable fairway driver? Yeah, they actually just took it out of uh, production and replaced it with the Hellfire. Oh, okay. But for years, it was their Firebird-esque disc, yep. their overstable fairway. You can watch a, a video on the Hellfire on Social Justice Golf. 
it. It's all right. With the Shasta and JB. Got some more of those coming up soon. Uh, we got Tim for a two. Pretty much a layup. Yeah. Going to be taking his three. And uh, Nick for his two. He's probably about 40. Yeah. 45 maybe? Yeah, definitely outside the circle. No jump required. Oh. Wow. Man, dead center right off the top. Yeah. A few inches lower. That's in. Mm hmm. And uh, Skyler getting another point right here if he makes his putt. Yeah. And he does. Dude. Skyler taking the first three holes in a row. Wow, man. Impressive showing. A really nice putt right there. Yeah. And uh, we got Adam. And this could for a two and also to get another point. Uh, but he's got an awkward putt here, Ben. It's very awkward. Be hard not to just lay it up. Yeah. But he gave it a chance. Oh, he sure did. Yep. Looks like him and uh, Tim will drop in their threes and uh, push that hole. As it were. And, uh, Adam's still up one. and uh... <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Adam's a really funny dude. Uh, and just really good dude all around. One of my favorite people to play oh, with, as a matter of fact. Man. Very cool. And uh, Skyler is up three after three. Doing work, Ben. Kill him. Sure is. Uh, bringing us to hole four here. Uh, 216 feet. One of the easiest holes in the course, if not the easiest, Ben. It is, though. I think this might be the toughest position. I may yeah. have said that in a previous video. It's mm -hmm. just you kind of have to hit a tight window between yeah. the bushes on the left and the tree on the right. And that low ceiling. And Close the low one. ceiling. Yep. If you leak high, you're going to be left with a, a 40-footer if you leak too high. Uh, Adam just running right at the bucket, man. Textbook. Off the hole. <laughs> and this is a CTP hole. They were making a joke. Uh, is it really? Yeah, well, Nick says he's got a, a pin seeker, like a golf trophy ball. Uh huh. Oh, and Tim almost aces it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. His patented rhino. Yeah. Skyler, up until this point, thought that uh, you needed to introduce what disc you were throwing before you went up to throw. Well, I think everybody should do that. Skyler's awesome in my book, then. <laughs> I let him do it for a few holes before I told him that we would just get the info later if he preferred. Nice. What a guy. Yes. I'm a fan now. <laughs> Looks like a vibrant putter it was. Yeah. Uh, soft Ridge, I think. Eh, right on. Skyler actually uses about three or four uh, different vibrant putters uh, in this video. Mostly for up shots, but in this case, off the tee. Right on. I came up a little bit short, right? But should be able to make that putt. And yeah. uh, Nick, what was he throwing here, Ben? Uh, SP Breaker. Oh, okay. Nice choice. Very good, yeah. Looks like they're all within range. Should be a bunch of twos. This guy was actually a little shorter than it looked, oh, yeah, but this, is, this is in his range, as we've seen. Yeah, he's been making putts, so we can keep it going. Mm -hmm. Oh, as you see a red disc roll down the hill into screen. Oh, there it is. <laughs> That's uh, Dean's shot. From the next hole over, which we're about to see. Oh, man. The uh, you doozy that it is. Nasty rollouts on hole five, man. Yeah, hole five is uh, pretty notorious and nefarious. Yep. There's Dean. Oh. Skyler says, I thought I saw a wild animal up there. <laughs> oh, it's Dean. I guess it was. <laughs> Accurate. <laughs> nice. Nice of them to little play through. I guess the people on the hole, hole in front get a... Get yeah. a... Oh, uh, priority, I guess. Honors, yeah. Something like that, yeah. Hey, nice putt from Tim. Very good putt from Tim. Straddle stance yeah. downhill. Center chains. Oh, yeah. And Skyler for his two. With the hunter. Ooh. Oh. It just became the hunt hit. So it was shot down. <laughs> it was, man. And uh, Nick. Nick should pick up a point here. Yep. Oh. What? Oh. No way, dude. <laughs> DGA robs Nick again. Oh, is he, is he, you can't complain to the boss either, because that's not going to do anything for you. you know? <laughs> <laughs> and Nick mentions, like, I think right after this, you know, at least you can say that there were two points that I lost on video due to the basket, not really me. <laughs> and uh, he's more or less right. Yeah. I mean, I really don't think they're bad baskets, but if you put them as hard as Nick's putting... That's true. They're going to spit out a lot. Of time, I wonder if he's but... used to the Mach X, which would really catch his type of putt. Could be. You know? Yeah. And, you know, in a place like Monterey, sometimes you have no choice but to uh, what, what putt is, hard. Cause what's it's, it good right here? Oh, uh, it's a CTP hole. Oh, that's right. Thank you. I like what uh, Skyler said. Uh, it's where it hit the pole, right? Oh, yeah. All right. I think yeah, so. I think it's CTP on where it's on the pole. <laughs> nice. 
But uh, actually, then Adam says, uh, got you, Ray Ray. Because <laughs> Ray Ramirez, the president, I guess was the previous he holder. Had already. Nice. Yep. So we go from a short, easy hole to a short, very hard hole. Uh, really very. uphill. Dog leg right. Oh my goodness. Now, you know, you talk about throwing a cut roller with a forehand in a jelly jam video and next thing you know everybody wants to do it <laughs> it's the shot if you can if you can nail it yeah tim goes with the air shot but uh adam threw the cut roll and i think both the other guys are going to go for it too awesome man i'll take it i love watching fun shots like that yeah and uh, there's skyler skyler so. wanted to mention he has a rise of the phoenix glow firebird that's what this is oh, that's pretty cool yeah, uh, unfortunately, I didn't get a good shot at the top of the disc, but it's a it's a really cool stamp. I've heard chicks really dig that Firebird. <laughs> I'll take your word. <laughs> yeah. Or maybe I'll get one and go try to get some chicks. There you go, man. There you go. Uh, that was a nice drive from uh, Nick right there. Yep, we did get a good Hell. view of that. It's a first flight Hellfire. The Hellfire. With the grenade stamp. Uh huh. Solid choice for a forehand roller. Really overstable disc. Or a grenade shot. Oh, yeah, true. Actually, maybe not, because I think you need an understable disc for that. Yeah, I think you're right, actually. <laughs> and, uh, there's that hike up the hill. They're, yeah. They're making it's it look pretty easy. steep. Oh my god, it's crazy steep. Yeah. So Tim is off to the left hand side of the fairway, and this approach is just no joke, man. You got a tree with a low ceiling and these rocks. Yeah, and, and Tim uh, skips over. Oh, did it sit? Uh, it did sit, but uh, I'd say it got a good close to 30 feet of skip. Oh my goodness, that's not good. It's going to be a tough comeback putt. Oh, and this is the other danger of this this basket yep. is you can, it's really easy to come up short on your up. It really is. Uh, Nick looking to correct off the previous two ups, and, and he skips over too. Yeah, it looks like it stayed pretty close though, right? He did stay pretty close. Yeah, yeah. I think he's got about a fifteen footer coming back. Gotcha. So Adam can really uh, play safe for for par and put the pressure on Tim. Even him, he just got it over those rocks by a little bit, mm -hmm. but that's enough to scoot it up there, and you can see how much it scooted. Yeah, this is one of the most ridiculous greens in disc golf. Like, it, it is. It's it's bananas. Uh, a nice putt right there from uh, nice Skyler. Although I guess there's no real par in this sort of match. Yeah, <laughs> there's just more or less than the other the other guy, right? That's right. So Tim needs this to uh, push the hole. Yeah, Adam's sitting under the basket, and ooh. oh, Adam's uh, getting a point. Adam sure is. I think that's uh, two for him now. Yeah, I believe you're right. And uh, Nick needs this one to push. Should be able to put this in. Yeah. The basket played along this time. There it did. Hit, hit the pole. That helps, right? Uh, With that hard Nick wants to mention, he's got a murdered out first flight uh, steady. Dang. Black on black. That's like, that's like very feldberg of him. With the black putter. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. He does like that too, doesn't he? Yeah. Pretty, pretty sweet. Or I would say I'd see uh, Murder Mike do some yeah. designs with murdered out. Yeah. Stand. The Steady's a really nice disc. Really cool putter. Yeah, I like it a lot. It's yeah, it was... uh, kind of similar to an AVR, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Shasta was chucking them at a Coyote Classic. I had some beautiful drives with them. Nice. Uh, we're on the whole six here, Ben. What was this, 270 or something like that? 270 is a shorter pin than you saw in the Jelly Jam video. Uh, a little bit shorter right. Okay. And you've got to basically hide around that tree and not go deep, as Adam almost did, but got knocked down by a branch. Mm -hmm. Um... It's it's uphill, it's a little deceiving. It's easy to get stuck under that tree on the left if you don't account for the slope. Yeah, it sure is. You gotta hang it out wide. And mm. Tim actually got knocked down in a good place by that tree, I think. Nice. And uh, Skyler going with the Firebird. Firebird makes sense if you can get it out there. It's a mm -hmm. big throw for an uphill Firebird shot, but yeah. Skyler does it. Depends on how, how crazy overstable your firebird is, I guess, right? Right. And, you know, how far you can really throw that thing. That, that too. And uh, Nick's throwing the Tsunami. Good choice, but too much hyzer. Yes, it is, isn't it? Or as Ooh. Arnold once said, too much hyzer. Too much hyzer. <laughs> that's a tough putt from under that tree. You're going to have some ceiling issues. It's a little yeah. bit uphill. But uh, we'll see what he can do. He's got a he's got that spin putt that it can definitely you know fight a ceiling. Yeah. And it looks like he didn't have to get down to a knee. Yeah. Oof, good run, just a little low. Maybe he should have got on a knee. Yeah. Yeah. Hindsight, you know. Yeah. It is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Tim from the behind the tree. Good putt, really. Yeah, yeah really nice putt. Strata looks like he probably had to go under that branch. Mm-hmm. Very nice. 
A little, little dog distraction. Skyler's dog's going crazy. <laughs> Doesn't bother him, though. He's used to it. No, he ought to be used to it by now. Yep, uh, getting a point on uh, Nick, and Adam pushes with Tim with that putt. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, three birdies. We're going to get a little inside the disc action here. This is his monster, star monster. <laughs> That's awesome. Very cool. So uh, after hole six, we are on to hole seven. Looks like Adam's up two and Skyler's up four. And we're playing the 456. So the infamous dry lake hole. Yes. <laughs> Sometimes there's water in there, but not very, not a lot. Yeah, we've been going through a drought. <laughs> yeah, turns out there's not a lot of water in California. Right. Got to throw about Oh, we got a little bonus footage here. Sorry. Uh, this is Scott Kesey from DGA. All oh, right on. And uh, actually managed to be Daylaw's number... Three or four seed in this. Him and Marshall, you saw there, that's Eric Price and Dean. That's uh-huh. who they're squaring off against. Oh, cool. More bonus footage in the next video. Excellent, excellent. So, so got... if you didn't catch it, all that dry lake is OB. It's like maybe 350 to get over it. Yeah. And Adam hangs it out a little too safe to the right. Yeah, got a little too much turn on that turn. That's right. Yep. And uh, Tim, opting for the boss. The this Dr. is the Dr. Doug, Doug boss that you may have seen Nick Sorch throwing in the Jelly Jam video. What's the story uh, behind the Dr. Doug? Dr. Doug is a San Jose local, or was, mm-hmm. uh, and, you know, very popular with the locals and uh, passed away recently. And these oh. are memorial discs for him. Oh, right on. Well, not that he passed away, but he got a cool memorial disc. <laughs> I never suspected him. Oh, hopefully that was clear. <laughs> and we got Skylar also throwing a boss like Tim. Uh, Tim hung it out a little far right. And Skyler didn't get the turn, or is that going to work, actually? I think it will. Yeah. Wow. Shot. That'll play. Just a little bit short, it looked like. Just a little bit, but, you know, being 456, uh, that's a good place to be. For sure. Uh, Nick throwing his hurricane. Wow, that was a crazy big hyzer goal. like the first hole, where he just maybe put too much hyzer on it. Yeah. Ooh, made the over the lake, at least. Yeah. Get us some power. Oh, yeah. Through... 400 on that crazy hyzer line. Mm-hmm. Uh, probably going to need this to put the pressure on Skyler, but he's outside the circle and it's a downhill putt. Oh. Gave it a chance, and Skyler is probably not quite part. Okay. Uh, Adam from pin high off to the right. And he runs it. Wow, Actually, Nick gave him some teasing for this. <laughs> yeah. So Tim is going to put the pressure back onto Adam yeah. with that layup. Huh? That's smart play. I like that. That's how match play works. Uh-huh. You see someone go that far past, and <laughs> there you go. Point for Tim. Oh, there he is. Got, got the point. But I think Adam was kind of in a situation where he had to play it low and fast just to get to the basket, but he should have played a little lower probably. Gotcha. Oh. And Skyler really does put it in. Looks like he might have actually have been deep. Yeah, he was, wasn't he? Wow. What a drive. Yeah. And uh, Tim cleaning up for his point. So Tim and Skyler picking up points. Way to go, Santa Cruz. Yeah, buddy. And, I believe... and uh, oh, Nick and Skyler were discussing the whole picking up the putter thing. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. So it looks like Adam is up one. Skyler's up five now after uh, seven. We're on a 7A, 322. Uh, Obi off to the left, but really shouldn't come into play with this pin, Ben. Uh, not in this pin, no. It's a good forehand hole. Um, yeah. The main trick to it is it's only 322, but there's a pretty narrow gap you have to get through on the left side. And the green itself is pretty small. Yeah, agreed. Uh, Tim has the box after grabbing a point. Tim's going to try to take the buzz right over the top, and he just doesn't get enough flex on it. Yeah. It, you know, if it flexes a little bit, that's a very nice shot for this hole. Mm-hmm. But just fade out a little early. Um, it's going to be a tough putt from over there. There's some kind of bushes in between the... Uh, basket in the left fairway and adam going the uh, over the top flex route but also fade out early ben yeah one of the things about this hole is it's nearly impossible to weave it up the middle it might be impossible with backhand or really get all the way yeah I, I guess you know anything's possible but it's pretty low percentage yeah it's a crazy tight line i've never seen anybody do it successfully <laughs> yeah so the way you see tim throw it is popular and then nick's gonna go with the overhand here he's got a really good tomahawk which we've yet to see in this video but wow check this out oh, dang that's how you throw a tomahawk folks Damn. you can throw a tomahawk 320 that'll that'll help your game i should get you some points right yeah, i really should and uh, adam adam giving it a chance from outside yeah he was and uh tim from just a little bit closer
Ooh. Yeah. He's up close. Yep, yeah, with like a couple pars. And then yep. Nick, after that, a really nice overhand. So he came up just a bit short. Yeah, hard to believe that Skyler's closer, but he oh, is. Wow. There he is. Wow, a couple of really nice drives. Yeah, they played that one well. Mm -hmm. Putts with the Hunter. It's a Bobby Music putts with. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Those seem like good putters, too. Yeah. And we got uh, Adam making his par along with Tim. They're going to push. Okay, we got two pars and two birdies. Results in two pushes. Mm -hmm. I believe. Push, push it real good. Push That's something Peppa once said. They did push it real good. Mm -hmm. uh, Skyler still's up five. Adam's still up one. And we are on two, hole eight. Uh, 375. Uh, left of the basket, it slopes off really fast. It's a really tricky green bend. Yes, and there's typically a bit of wind on this hole. Mm -hmm. um, Usually a headwind? Headwind, yeah. Mm -hmm. There's Marshall Lambert from the next card. Nice. And transition to his buddy Tim. Excellent. So he's ripping out the boss. He likes that disc. If it flexes enough, that might be really good. Yeah. Look at this. Oh, <laughs> smash chains. Wow. Almost. Yeah, just a little short left, but it stayed up and didn't roll down, which is all you can ask for this hole, really. That's right. A little higher, that might have been, you know, 100 more feet down the hill. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Adam flipped that into the headwind. Did he not did. come back. But still, in some ways, better than being down the hill, but then you have a tricky approach that could skip long. Mm hmm. Yeah, totally. And Skyler? Boss. And he flips his over, too. I sure did, huh? But it looks like he got a little more distance on it. Yeah, a little bit higher. Yeah. Didn't ante into the ground so hard. And Nick ripping the hurricane. Excellent disc for this shot. I've heard he will rock it like a hurricane. <laughs> we'll see. I'll get some nice flip into the headwind. And come up a little bit short. Oh, a little short, and you saw the skip. Yep, it is That's a... has got the makings of a long upshot. Very fast green. And that was Skyler's upshot right there. I believe. Yeah, using uh, his Vibram to good use again. That's, uh, I think, kind of the beauty of those soft putters. Yeah, they really stick. Yep. And Adam goes a little bit long on his up. I don't know if he knows yet, but uh, Adam's throwing a gum putt, which is a oh, is really? old school DGA disc. It's yeah. sort of for the same use. It, it sits pretty well. Yeah, you can like roll those things up like in a they're ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. Um, Adam coming back up the hill for his par. Oh. oh, looks like Tim's gonna take this one. He's a smart player right there. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, that was his birdie putt. But he's like, "Well, I'll just take my par and get my point." Yep, that's a real smooth match play move. Mm -hmm. It totally was. And a Nick for his par. Oh man. Yeah, coming a little short. And yeah. Skyler gave him the thumbs up, knowing he just got a point on that. Yeah. Provided he can hit this five footer. Yes, provided he can. <clears throat> he does. Yep. Fortunately, past performance is an indicator of a future success. <laughs> yes. In that case, anyway. Um. Yep. All right, dude. Skyler, he's kind of crushing. He is very crushing. Yeah. Uh, six up. Yep. Oh, uh, Timber Square, however. Yeah, very cool. Uh, we're on to eight A, uh, one eighty nine, and like three feet past his basket. Ben is just a cliff. That sounds about right, if that. If that, yeah, it's, it's kind of a, another crazy green. Yeah, it's a little really test your finesse. There is Ray Ray Ramirez. Uh huh. That's what I say the 3R and 3R electric stands for. Okay, right on. Probably not actually Ray Ray Ramirez, but I'm sticking with that story. <laughs> That'll work. <laughs> and him a little deep with the rhino. Yeah, I really do not want to go long on this one. Although, it's not as costly in match play, because, well, I guess not. Yeah, you're not going to lose, you know, five points on one hole. Right. Yeah. And uh, that was Adam coming up a little right. I think he stayed up, though, right? Smooth move with the gator, yeah, and it looked like it sat really well. You know, a lot of people would throw a putter on that shot, but he just took it and finessed it. Yeah. And Got Scott... it with the uh, Justice. It's oh, been yeah. selling, like, hotcakes at the De La Shack. Yeah, it's a super overstable kind of fairway from uh, DD. Uh, it's a mid, actually. It's an overstable mid. Mid? Oh, okay. Uh, kind of similar to a drone. Okay. Yeah. Or a gator. I've, I've heard people say they're really beefy. They are. Ooh, but wow. also flat. Oh, okay. Right. Sometimes it goes hand in hand. Oh, looks like Tim did go down the hill. Uh, he's coming back up for his two. Could put this in. 
Ooh, it's a little over the top. Yep. Needed to run it, though, which he did. Because uh, Adam has this putt for a point. He should be able to put this in. Mm -hmm. He does. Yeah. Bit of an awkward stance on the hill, but it made it work. Yeah, there's some weird stances to be had there. And yeah. there's Nick. Wow. Nick with a little tap in. Didn't really comment on his drive before, but it was very nice. And That's uh, kind of how you throw a breaker. You know, they handle hyzers very well. Yeah, they sure do. And they sit really nicely as well. Yeah. And Skyler and uh, Nick pushing. Uh, Adam got a stroke. He's up one, and I believe that is all we got for part one, Ben. That's right. Cool. Well, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll catch you in part two. See you.